Opioids, also known as opiates, are strong pain medications used when weaker painkillers like paracetamol and ibuprofen are inadequate. They can be highly addictive and, in most cases, can only be obtained with a doctor's prescription. Prescription opioids include compounds derived from the opium poppy plant, such as morphine and codeine, and synthetic morphine-like compounds such as fentanyl, methadone and oxycodone. All opioids reduce pain by acting on the central nervous system. When a patient takes an opioid painkiller, opioid particles are absorbed into the bloodstream and carried to the brain, spinal cord and gastrointestinal tract. There, they attach to minute parts of nerve cells called opioid receptors. This causes a number of reactions, including the release of dopamine, the feel-good neurotransmitter, and a reduction in the activity of the nerves involved in the experience of pain. But with repeated exposure, the receptors get used to the level of opioids entering the system. The body then demands higher doses for the same effect, and it will go into withdrawal if it doesn't get them. This physical dependence on opioids can develop in as little as a few weeks. Prescription opioids can have side effects too, including constipation, nausea and drowsiness. They can also cause substantial long-term harm, including higher rates of depression, increased risk of heart attack and an accelerated loss in bone mineral density. And prescription opioids are now responsible for more opioid overdoses than heroin. With the risks this class of drug poses, most pain specialists now believe that in cases of chronic, non-cancer-related pain, opioid medications should have only a limited role, and that a multi-pronged approach, including diet, movement, meditation and cognitive therapy, is preferred.